half points for Gary Trent. Sonogo with the three. Blue closed down. Island is trying to steal with Shannon Scott on the bench. He's going to play 40 tonight, but they have to play eight minutes with Tajir McCall playing point guard without a true backup. As Sonogo, an open three, buries. They let it 62-44 at halftime. McCall, kick out Sonogo. Another good look at a three is good. Back. Sonogo gets loose for another three and buries it. Swimbush up to 21 now. And make that five of the last six games he's had 20 or more points. Really has come on as of late for Long Island. Sonogo, another open three, rattles home. Five right on their heels. The top three teams all from the Atlantic Division. I know it's only been 21 games, 50 games in the season for the G League. But it's going to be really interesting between them top three teams there. Assist per game average quite a bit over the last 72 hours. Yeah, 20 and 15 now and counting. Definitely going to go up. Bush, Scott, McCall, all those guys play really well. The usual suspects putting up points, rebounds, and assists. Really didn't need them tonight because of what their, their teammates were doing. McCall bounces for Sonogo in the corner. Fires one up at the buzzer. Goes down the lane. Throws the ball back out. Big pointer by Miller off. Rebound to Long Island into Fort Court and a quick throw down. That was a nice play. Sonogo got the ball in. By Fort Wayne, but yeah, he kind of came on. Unfortunately, had that injury right at the Vegas showcase. But since he's come back, he's been very good, including from the three-point lane, where he's shooting about 45% in those four games. Scott, McCall, Creek, Williams, Sonogo, the five for Long Island. Gray, Omari Johnson, Hicks, Wamu, and Barnett, the five for Fort Wayne. Sonogo has it blocked away by Jordan Barnett. 120 points here. <laughs> Put up 117 to lose by 20. That could be a little bit disheartening. Uh, Sonogo, a nice drive and a finish, but Fort Wayne. Tajir McCall turning defense into offense for Long Island, and they are back within 12. A good late quarter spurt here for the Nets. Wamu down the right side through some contact finishes. First. Biggest crowd in Nets history. Everybody from the front office is in attendance. Milwaukee Bucks are playing here later tonight. So we thought originally there was a lot of good energy. Lyles will inbound. Come out to, oh, excuse me, Lyles will not. It will be Burton that inbounds to Lyles all the way out front. And now Cousins. Cousins spins, lays back, shoots no. It's short. And then... A whistle. 19. And Manu has it. Let's see what Manu's going to do. Gets it in the, in the Simons. Right. And, and that's, that was a good looking shot. Just it's 64 to 55. It's a nine point margin. Down from 21 in the first half. We will hand off from Haas to Cousins. Cousins in and out. Cousins came out about three, four minutes earlier than the. Throwing down a monster dunk. That time hit the front of the rim. He must have heard you. He's going to get one, man. I'm telling you. And it's going to be glorious when he does. Bakari Allen's jumper is short. Sonogo at 16th three for the Nets. Tying the season high on made three-pointers. Shep Garner off the mark. Into double figures for Long Island. One of four players there. He has 15 points. Musa leading the way with 21. Rob Gray, 21. Alizé Johnson, 20 for Fort Wayne. Yeah, Fort Wayne spreading it out, those six players in double figures. Ton of bench points. Inside, outside, like you were saying, Kevin. The exception. As Lyles will take his time coming into four court, crosses the midcourt line, veers to his right, still has a dribble, goes behind his back, hooks a left-handed shot off the glass that won't fall for him. Everything was great. The op Hangs right around that average. Ray 
Driving on Sunogo. Pump fakes on the jumper, has it blocked by Sunogo, but poked away by Gray, right to Johnson for the lay-in. That kind of a day for the net. And it was right in front of his own teammates on the bench. So 84-73. Pollock still has that double-digit lead. Between the circles, Deontay Burton will yo-yo. Take that clock down. Still 11, now 9. Burton to the basket. Burton has his shot blocked. It goes out of bounds. Still Salt Lake basketball. He had 20 on Wednesday, as we've touched on a couple of times. A new franchise record. Increasing that assist per game average quite a bit over the last. Theo is a big part of what this team wants to do, but tonight he wasn't needed much. Shannon Scott, Tajir McCall, Thomas Wimbush, Drew Gordon, Kamar.